Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel Technocrits. In today's video, we will look at Mitsubishi mark detection function in Mitsubishi PLC FX5 View using FX5-40 SSC-S, our simple motion module. So let's see. First of all, I have this uh, FX5 View new project. I will go to the navigation. In the parameter section, go to the module, sorry. Uh, information module. Let's just add our simple motion module here. So simple motion module FX5-40 SSC. Click OK. So it will take some time to add labels. So we can use both labels as well as buffer memories. Now go to the module simple motion module settings. So basically what uh, is the mark detection function so in this method, like suppose we have this FX5 uh, SSC hour. So we have connector here. So in this connector, we have four inputs that are DI1, DI2, DI3 and DI4. These four uh, outputs are used to uh, capture a value or they can use for any other purpose like dog sensor or something. So what have we, what we will do is we will go to the mark detection function. First of all, let's j just add one servo drive here let's say mrj4b and then we go to the mark detection function so in the mark detection function we have this signal setting let's open so as you can see we have option from 1 to 4 that is di from 1 to 4 so let's say we are using di1 so i will use one here and then we have the type so what data we need to capture so let's say i am capturing cam access length per cycle like 11 here for the axis number one okay so this is the setting you require you can uh, use any of the settings like if you have a synchronous encoder and you want to capture that value when the when the sensor is on so you can also do that from here for this we have to uh, generally uh, add two things more parameters that is pr42 let's go to pr42 okay this is pr42 so we can use any of these functions so but if you want to input the sensor and uh, capture some value then we will use high speed input request and pr95 let's go to pr95 here so uh, pr95 maybe down 95 95 95 ER95. So yes, here it is. So DI1. So for DI1 is uh, after I have selected DI1 here, it is for access number one, and I have also already enabled this high speed input request here. So what happen will uh, is that if a DI1 is on, then using this mark detection function, we can capture the value of cam access length per cycle for access number one. So this is the parameterization of the uh, um, yeah, mark detection function. Now let's now move into the programming section. Here we will just add a single bit here for to enable the uh, external commands. So let's say it's M1 start or you can say enable enable uh, mark. Now OUT you can also use mm, like uh, labels but i'm using the buffer here of the g that is 4305.0 click see you can see extend command valid you can get the buffer from here go to the help section and this is buffer memory address list so once you come here let it open uh, it is taking some time Till then, let's write the program first. Then, the value you will capture will be like say I'm using two here, and uh, say D move and you uh, will now click G five four nine six two is my buffer address, and I will move it to like uh, D ten. So this is my mark reference position or you can say mark actual position 
which I've received. Now let's go to the uh, buffer list here. So there is separate section for the mark detection function like see here. So we have this 4305 as well. Okay, so yes. So the first word which we have is mark detection counter detection is the mark detection data storage area one. So that is 54962 which we have used in our uh, demo block. Okay. And the validation command will be somewhere here I think in the or maybe in the parameter section. Let's check. So let's say this is our external command valid. So for access number one, it is 4305. So these are the values. And uh, so if we, so just keep in mind that you need PR42 to be at at high speed input request. PR45, PR sorry, PR95, 95 uh, the DI you are using like DI1, DI2, DI3, DI4, and just you need to uh, make the access one external command valid with the value transferring to the actual position. So now let's get to the wiring part from where you have to wire the uh, input in that. So we will go to motion FX5 view, simple motion FX540 SSC. Okay, then we have the startup manual, the wiring, and external input connection, connector connection. So as you can see, D1, uh, DI1 is your 11 number, DI2 is your 24 number, DI3 is 12 number, and DI4 is 25 number. And the common for both of them is 13 and 26. So these all DI can be used using COM26 uh, and COM13. Um, please note that this type of uh, input, uh, we sub this uh, connector supports both inputs like NPN and PNP. So uh, you can use any of this method. Also we have this wiring diagram for the uh, external encoder which can be mounted over to the uh, motion module. So this is wiring of the uh, encoder here also. So this is all you need to do to detect the mark at particular location and capture the value from the uh, 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 servo drive. So we have this feed current value, machine feed value, actual current values, and we also have the synchronous encoder values over here. So you can get that also. 